Sketch Plus just came out with a new feature that will enable you to draw hip roofs extremely fast. So if you're not familiar with Sketch Plus, it's a premium extension made by Mindsight Studios. I'm an affiliate, so you can check out the links below if you want to check it out. I actually did another video going through all of these different tools that are included. But this video, I just want to share this new update for drawing hipped roof. So you can see how fast that is. If you've ever drawn a hip roof in SketchUp before, you may have used this method where you select a path and then use the follow me tool uh, with a triangle. But then you're kind of left with like all of these extra entities. So you have to triple click everything, intersect the faces and then kind of clean up everything with the eraser. Um, to kind of give you the result you're looking for. So it's really messy, kind of takes a lot of time to do. Um, so this new tool in Sketch Plus just makes that process a whole lot faster. So you literally just activate the tool, click on any face, and it'll extrude uh, vertically along the blue axis. It's going to use the global blue axis, no matter, you know, if you override the axis orientation in your model, and then you can either click, you can provide a distance, or what I really like is you can uh, type in a pitch or angle. So I can type in five colon 12, and it'll be a five pitch roof, or I could do six pitch or 12, 12. And it has a memory just like the push pull tool. So you can just double click an additional service and it'll extrude it and create that hip roof with the same pitch or distance that you just did. So the resulting geometry will be put into a group. You can double click it and it's just regular, you know, SketchUp entity. So you can edit this however you want. If you want to convert something to a gable, you can just grab the move tool, grab this point here lock the red axis with the uh, arrow keys and there you go you've got a a gable if you wanted to have an offset roof all you would need to do is create some offset geometry so i'm going to grab this face copy it i'm going to put this into a group and then i will paste in place that face and then we'll just offset this with the offset tool by a foot and now i can delete this inner geometry and i'm just left with this outer geometry. So now I can just use the uh, the hip roof tool on that and gives me an offset roof. So this is just one of the many tools in the Sketch Plus extension. Um, I will link to my kind of full overview video uh, going through every single one of these features. Um, you've got component tools, material tools for like quickly removing materials from different entities. Same thing with tags you know, clearing tags from different entities, some basic uh, drawing tools for creating primitive shapes. The move tools are by far my most, the most commonly used tools that I use in Sketch Plus. So for instance, check this out. If I have a bunch of objects that I want to align, this align tool, it's super intuitive. You just kind of hover over the point that you want uh, the objects to be aligned to and one click and everything's moved perfectly in alignment. There's nudge, uh, move to origin, move to Z, so you can move the selected objects to a specific elevation. And then drop is another one that I love. So drop is really cool, especially if you're working with uh, terrain. Um, so it'll basically drop the selected entities onto the surface below. So big time saver. Uh, if you'd like to check this one out, again, link in the description. I'm an affiliate, so if you do buy using my link, I'll get a small commission. So that's gonna do it for this video. Just wanna do a quick uh, update on the new hip roof feature with Sketch Plus. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.